Thank God I don't want to keep paying for premium. Brother, you pay for Twitter. Look, I don't like frickin' corpos on Twitter, but sometimes they make a good point. Having children is saving the world. Raising them? Not so much. Oh, uh, whatever. He's got a lot of money he can flaunt at the very least. British Museum asks public and experts to help recover stolen artifacts. Have they checked the British Museum? Does this game exist? Second Life is not a game. It is a multi-user virtual environment. It doesn't have points or scores. It doesn't have winners or losers. Oh, it definitely has losers. Oh man, I've only played that game one time. It scared me a lot. Can this teenager use a rotary phone? <laughs> Look at these stupid kids. They can't use a rotary phone. They can't use a phone book. Wow. It's almost like as technology advances, older things slowly become useless and obsolete. Kinda like Ellen. Oh God, Ellen, what a fall from mediocrity. Girls be like, one year with the love of my life, and this be the pick. Hmm. What's wrong here exactly? Oh, the uh, OP is jealous because people can fall in love for looks and or personality, of which they have neither. Minnesota officials ready for potential feral pig invasion. Well, the Packers game isn't until the 31st of December, yeah, so they have time to prepare. I am sure you know what it is. I'm equally disturbed by your lack of comments. You make a post and you know what the answer is and wait for people to comment raising your social relevance. Is this clickbait? Nothing chaps my hide more than baby, baby. Wow, that's not a word. More than baby boomers saying clickbait. This is not an article. If I wanted social relevance, I'd grow a beard, wear shirts that say 1776, and yell from my car about how the government has a secret plan to enslave you with a vaccine. Sh that's the wrong where. But anyway, the point really is... Actually, no, I'm not here to get to the point. I'm here to make fun of you people! All right? I still can't believe the boomers were the biggest hippies of all goddamn time. They're the biggest hippies ever. And then one day, they turned into the biggest goddamn psycho brats known to mankind. I'm sorry, there are a lot of you boomers that kick ass and I love you. I genuinely do. I'm sure that there's at least a couple of you actually here that listen to MK. I don't want to make it seem like I haven't had buddies that are boomers. I have. They can be pretty damn funny. But you got to admit, a lot of your peers can be quite insane. Do you like... Uh-oh. That's an inside thought that we said out loud. That's not how we make friends, and that was not a good choice, sir. Now, how can we make a better choice next time? Let's reflect together. Yeah, I'm sorry. If you start off a conversation with any other human human being you don't know? Do you like <laughs> Yeah, they absolutely have every right and reason to talk to you like you're a four-year-old learning etiquette. Do you notice that men are no longer persuasive? Once they ask you out on a date and you say no, that's it. If I want to play games, I got a PlayStation. Yeah. How dare men do what you ask of them to do? Respect your decision, rather than pressure you into saying yes, when it's quite clear your answer from the get-go means you do not want to. If someone tells me no, that means no. That is not hard to comprehend. GPT-4 responds to Elon Musk's criticism. Oh, I bet. GPT-4, more like GPT, snore, blah, 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 whatever. Elon, if I had a dollar for every time I outsmarted you, I could bail out Twitter. Oh my god! How can a generative text program be smarter than Elon Musk? I'm, I'm, what the, Jimmy Kimmel to host 2024 Oscar ceremony. Who cares? Nobody does. It's why we posted it. So everyone can take time to post that nobody cares. It's a public service to the nobody cares crowd. Yeah, look at that. 3,000 likes, nearly 70 shares. Look at that. Sorry, not 3,000 likes, 2.9 thousand comments. I forgot. But yeah, I'm really, really tired of people that are clearly following the page, who are engaged with its posts, and will say, yeah, no one cares. I, I, I don't know, it's a little annoying. It's that high horse. Uh, every year the Super Bowl comes on. I don't even like football. Me neither. No one gives a f about my opinion on football, jack wagon. Just like, you may not care about my Spotify wrapped, but I know there's at least a few people that follow me on Twitter that kinda give a <laughs> You don't have to. But you're not cooler than anybody for not caring. Companies like Raytheon are the reason you're typing this today. Both the fact that you're alive and you wrote this on a phone slash computer. Damn, bro. You want some more salt or seasoning to go with that boot you're licking? Notice how you didn't try to disprove my claim, but instead just insulted? <laughs> Claims asserted without evidence can lick my balls. Burden of proof is on the assertion. Prove to me I wouldn't be alive without Raytheon or go back to the boot. 
Remember, burden of proof is on those making the goddamn claim. If you say 2 plus 2 equals 12, and I say, what? No, it doesn't. And then you tell me to look it up and do my research. You're a dipsh**. <laughs> you, you have to show me your actual evidence and proof for that mathematical equation equaling what you say it does. You do not try to flip it around on me, on the people asking you to prove it. That's on you, buddy. The type of guys girls be given a chance Yet, I've been single for years. Uh, ha ha ha? It's, it's surprising girls give guys like this who get mad over pixels a chance, and not a hardworking guy who actually makes something of their lives. Oh my god. Here's one of the poor little good boys. Bro, be freaking for real. If you've been single for years, as you're whining about perhaps, as you're, as you're whining about perhaps you aren't a, okay. As you're whining, perhaps you aren't as good a catch as you think you are. Go cry about your loneliness somewhere else. There is going to come a certain point when bitching on Reddit... It, no, actually, if you're bitching on Reddit, that's less valid than just complaining in general. MC Hammer bringing the receipts. Oh boy, what receipts? Let's see, stick to being a one-hit wonder. You have no idea what you're wading into? I got at least 19 charted hits. Which one made you wonder? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is a beautiful response. Just because you only know one artist's song does not mean they are a one-hit wonder, okay? Jeez. We didn't need to be told don't try this at home when we were kids because we weren't freaking it. Yes, you were. You people were goddamn insanely dumb. Said the generation of kids that made magnetic refrigerator doors necessary and is the reason toy stores no longer sell lawn darts or M80s. Well, the M80s, I don't get I don't get why those would have been sold in toy stores. Technically, it's a firework of some kind, right? But yeah, lawn darts? Yeah. Also, the generation that thought that, you know what? No, I could honestly go into it forever, depending on the generation. But I'm assuming <laughs> that these are very old Gen X or pretty young boomers that are making this claim, man. I don't want to hear no housewife talk unless you watch Kevin Samuels without rolling your eyes. What? Kevin Samuels was twice divorced or a twice divorced deadbeat dad that died under a hooker. Don't think he's the person to listen to for relationship advice. Who? Google should not be used in school, nor taught in school. Computers and the internet have ruined kids. Be a good role model, and get off the internet then. Absolutely. Like, I'm sorry, times have changed. I don't have access to encyclopedias with truly up-to-date information. Travis Kelsey's doing Bud Light and Good Shot commercials. He needs to fire all his marketing agents. Or he just needs to go ahead and cut his off, become a chick, and endorse Joe Biden. He went home with Taylor Swift, Clay. <laughs> well, you know, Clay. You, you know exactly what a dude that's, that talks about chopping ass off and becoming a chick. You absolutely know the type of guy. So he's probably got some nasty, disgusting opinions about Taylor Swift. Don't worry, Chris. You're correct. Travis out here winning, at least for now, until he becomes a song. <laughs> God, I hope someday she settles down and has no more material. I just... <laughs> I just... Maybe she should settle down with one of her girlfriends, you know what I'm saying? I think that would be the true end of this story. When I was a kid, if you walked around with a mask on because you had a 0.2 chance of dying, they called you a paranoid schizophrenic. Bruh, 0.2 is 20%. And that is way higher than... Wait, hold on, what was the chance of contraction? At the very least. You see, I hid my head under the sand for several years. What was Chopin? Is it Chopin? What was Chopin's diet? I'm trying to get better at his music. Figured one of the best places to start would be to get the same gut bacteria. What did Chopin most likely eat inert? Inert? What is nert? <laughs> wow, I'm talking too fast. I need to slow down. What would they have most likely eaten in early 19th century Paris? People will do anything to avoid practicing. Wasn't that artist like a savant of some kind, or were they actually like a, I've been playing this instrument or making my music for 5,000 years, practiced musician? Because I mean, like Mozart was, what's the word? Not a savant. I can't think of the word. You know what I'm talking about though. If you know me, you know I'm committed to truth and fairness. <laughs> Here's the truth. Not a single authentic user on X saw IBM's, Comcast's, or Oracle's ads next to the Content in Media Matters article. Only two users saw Apple's ad next to the content, at least one of which was Media Matters. Data wins over manipulation or allegations. Don't be manipulated. Stand with X. I feel like your character will have three lines tops when they make a TV miniseries about this. <laughs> Ooh, that one kinda hurts. 
Ouch! This is why you thrive on Twitter. It's the perfect medium for you. It's very superficial and oriented to the public and not experts. Oh yeah? Well, this guy says I'm an expert. Huh. I, that is a lot. That is a lot. In Provoked, how America started the new Cold War with Russia and the catastrophe in Ukraine. Scott Horton delivers on his thesis. This book is a necessary, timely, critically important antidote to Western war propaganda, which posits that Russia invaded Ukraine for reasons that have nothing to do with Western infer interference. Interference. Damn it. But you know who said all that? You want to know who's quoted as saying all that? Max Abrams. So I paid 12 euro for a seat, but a window isn't included in the deal? What the hell? Read that again, but slowly. Okay, I do have to say the prices that Ryanair seems to be able to do, I, I, I'm sorry, I would actually be kind of pissed about the window because I get really panicky and weird on a plane if I can't look out the damn window. Uh, I get a lot more claustrophobic and just, I don't know, I, I'm having a lot less of a good time. Less good of a time, you could say? But for the, what's the equivalent of what, that is euros, right? What, what would that be? Like 13, 14, 9, 10, 11 dollars? It's so cheap. The cheapest single one-way flight I've ever seen in the US is when I took a Spirit Airlines flight for $45. Awful, by the way, don't ever fly that absolute joke of an airline. For that money, I couldn't even get to the airport if I took public transportation. <laughs> I think of that 12 as the extra charge for choosing your seat. This has happened to me before when I paid to choose a seat, that their schematic made it look like it had extra leg room. Turns out they didn't include it in the bulkhead. Oh no, they didn't include the bulkhead in the drawing. Gotcha. Yeah, so just remember, I don't think Ryanair is ever the good guy. I believe the CEO said something along the lines of he could take out all the seats and make standing room only, he would make all tickets like a dollar. But standing room only on a plane? Hmm. Well, at least we know he's not allowed to do that for now. Breaking. Apple has just reportedly halted advertising on X after owner Elon Musk backed an anti-Semitic... Anti-Semitic? Semitic? Oh my god, my brain is just not running well today. Backed an anti-Semitic post. Apple following IBM, and in the last few hours, Lionsgate pulled ads. Tesla market cap slashed 40 plus billion dollars since he retweeted the anti-Jewish post. We're on it at three. Ridiculous. Cancel culture is still alive. This you, Bob? Oh yeah. Cancel culture doesn't count when they do it. No, it doesn't count. It's not the same. Stop. Shut up. Pride equals one month. Veterans equal one day. Our veterans deserve more. <coughs> <coughs> February 3rd, National Military Chaplain's Day, AKA Four Chaplain's Day. February 19th, Coast Guard's Day, Navy Reserve's Day, K-9 Veteran's Day, Medal of Honor Day, Vietnamese Veteran's Day, Gold Star Spouses Day, Air Force Reserve's Day, <gasps> Army Reserve's Day, Silver Star Banner Day, Military Spouse Day, Children of Fallen Patriots Day, uh, Saturday in May Armed Forces Day, Memorial Day, D-Day Anniversary, Army Day, Coast Guard Auxiliary Day, <gasps> Korean War Veteran's Day, Coast Guard Day, Purple Heart Day, Marine Forces Reserve Day, Palmia Day, I do say Palmia just because it's easier to read, Air Force Day, Gold Star Family Day, Navy Day, National Day of the Deployed, Marine Corps Day, Veterans Day, Pearl Harbor Day, National Guard Day, National Wreaths Across America Day, Space Force Day. P.S. May is Military Appreciation Month. P.P.S. April, Month of the Military Child. November, Military Family Month slash Warrior Care Month. P.P.P.S. Gay men have served in every war ever. There's zero conflict between LGBTs and Armed Forces Appreciation, except the one made up in your head. This guy's not gay, though? Dude, look at them sh- he's wearing them jorts and boots, like, look at this guy! Huh? Hold on! Air conditioning is unhealthy, bad, miserable, and sexist. I can't explain how many times I've gotten sick over the summer because of overzealous AC in the offices. The majority of men in business settings are wearing multiple layers of clothes to conform to dress code. Put on a goddamn cardigan and stop making me ashamed to share a chromosome with you. I woke up at 4 a.m. every day for years while I was building my business and still had a full-time job. If you want it, you'll find a way. No excuses. You run an internet marketing agency with 48 followers on Instagram. I'm going to sleep in around 300 kilometers per hour. Or an hour? I don't know, it's the slash. Sorry, stupid American here. Please translate to my superior measurement system. About 14 times the speed of a 45 caliber bullet. 14 times the... Oh, I, I didn't see the point. The point one four times the speed of a 45 caliber bullet. I was gonna say, good God, I thought they moved a lot faster than that. Anyway. <laughs> you don't think I'm pretty? LMAO! No. I do. 
I do think you're very pretty, but what I am not is one of those or these oaks that will give you a free ride just because you have your looks as a get out of jail free card. Look, I get it. You were raised by a society that thinks you should be celebrated for just existing. I'm not a part of that society. You're vacuous. You're inattentive. You're an egomaniac. You're conceited almost beyond belief to think that your distinct lack of personality is made up for by the fact that you're pretty and spend a lot of your day squatting. We have nothing, and I mean nothing in common. You don't read. You can't tell me what your favorite movie is. You're a Cardi B fan. You have no interest in sports other than the footballers. And now, F1 drivers that you enjoy objectifying. Your favorite car is what's popular. Your favorite drink is whatever other people are buying, or buying you, rather. And no, just no. It staggers me that you went through so much of an effort to get my number from your bra after meeting me once to be this person. You clearly don't know me at all and made little to no effort to, in this time, to do so. So yes, you are pretty, very pretty, but I'm pretty as hell too. So what makes me chase you? It's not enough to just be pretty. It's nothing. Good freaking lord. Once again, PETA are full of excrement. Do you mean full of sh**? Think of these goats next time you see a cashmere jumper. Uh, here's some context though. Goats scream for all kinds of reasons, including hunger, boredom, and pain. Brushing removes dandruff and loose hair that some goats get and increases blood flow. Goats just make noise sometimes, PETA. Animals will sometimes just do that. Like you guys. Did you know? The Sith Eternal Fleet seen in Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker was created by Sith cultists on Exegol, or Ex Exegol? I don't know. Who indoctrinated Exegol's population with Sith values and raised and trained their children to become officers, mechanics, and soldiers for the final order. No. How could we have known? Elijah Wood is the absolute goat. I f***ing love the man, and I'm so happy he's the one to say this. Also, why is that like the only cool part of that entire movie? The two good parts of The Rise of Skywalker were the trailer music for the final trailer, which was amazing, wish I could listen to it elsewhere, and that giant death fleet, that looked really cool. But, you know, the movie wasn't. My abs are tight, but my pussy is tighter. Dad must be so proud. Well, I graduated valedictorian, went to college on a full ride, am on Forbes 30 under 30, provide for both of my parents, and I look good as f in this picture, why wouldn't he be? Hell yeah, mother <laughs> You are able to be a woman, enjoy your sexuality, be comfortable with it, and flaunt it just like a lot of dudes do. You're allowed to do that, all right? And she's probably way more successful than random Mr. Twitter dipsh**4.2. Redditor forgets women exist. Well, of course they do. There's no women on Reddit. How are they gonna remember? Skill issue. My boyfriend is the wind beneath my wings, b Dating is different for gay people. Your experience isn't equivalent. This post is about men and women not getting along. I'm straight, though? My boyfriend, I'm straight. Make up your mind, lol, which one are you? Homie, I'm a woman. No, this guy didn't forget women exist. Existed, exists. This guy doesn't think they are people. There are a lot of statistics where Americans are at the top. Most of them just aren't that nice to brag about. Oh god, you could go on forever about the things we're number one in that are very sad. Oh sh I forgot how to convert 1.85 meters to 185 centimeters. OP must be American or dumb. Same thing. All I'm hearing is wow, wow, my country doesn't have the sixth biggest pyramid in the world? What? Fix your hearing then. Why should I care about the opinion from someone likely living off of American taxpayer money? Basically, no one lives off of the American taxpayer money except for corporations. You can't even feed your own homeless or pay for healthcare with that money. When it comes to killing with American taxpayer money, now that's different. By the way, what kind of flex is having the sixth largest pyramid? Sounds like you're having a hard time coming up with upsides to living in your country. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Is he talking about the pyramid I think he's talking about? Oh, whew. I thought he was talking about the Bass Pro Pyramid in Memphis, Tennessee. I thought he was talking about that. He might be talking about the Luxor in Las Vegas, because that's a pyramid. Last I checked, and I think it's ranked seventh? I don't know. I don't think the Bass Pro Shops Pyramid is all that large. I think that that triangular pyramid looking building in San Francisco is like the second tallest in the world. I don't know. Just one Google away. 
probably on a garbage website that doesn't prove any of that. I, I, I don't know. You should look it up, though. I'm not making any actual claims whatsoever right now. I take back everything I said. I just, I genuinely thought he was talking about the Bass Pro Shops pyramid because we all find that thing very, very funny. Also, I, as an American who does not consider themselves to be completely lost, please don't call me dumb because I live here. That's f***ing stupid, and you're probably above that. I mean, I don't know, you might not be. I don't know you. I'm confused. Why aren't you making sandwiches? <laughs> oh, I wonder who you said that to. <gasps> I'm sorry that your dad finds you girly and will never be proud of you. I'm sorry your mom drinks when she thinks about what a disappointment you are. Maybe one day, if you try, you can have substance in your life instead of old, stiff socks. I hate how sexual the world has become, okay? There's an orgy depicted in the Sistine Chapel. The Romans used to have holidays dedicated to sex. Concubines and royal courtesans were the norm. Stone Age humans had sex with toys. The Kama Sutra was written around 400 BCE and Cleopatra owned a d Read a book. I'm really, really, really tired of, oh, the world's nothing but sexual garbage now. No, you just need something to be mad about today. Source? I have two excellent sources, Control C and Control V. Oh, you do not understand what ownership means. I get it now. Good luck with whatever you got going on, buddy. <laughs> Only someone who bought NFTs can truly understand what the concept of owned means. Gotcha, bitch! Everything you are witnessing is a plan to destabilize, destroy, and transition the America you grew up in. Charlie, how old do you think you are? For reference, the man is 30 years old. I'm going to be turning 28 in a few weeks. We grew up in the same America, and what exactly was it like when we were kids, Charlie? Oh, we were playing kid picks and old school RuneScape? Are they trying to get rid of those things? Charlie? F***ing idiot. I grew up in an America where a woman could not get a credit card. Marital was not only legal but considered impossible. Gay sex was punishable by hard prison time. Possessing marijuana could get you life in prison. Black men were still be Young men were being drafted and sent off to die. And I am only in my early 60s. Your romanticizing the past is self-service bullshit. And Charlie never experienced a fraction of those things. Actually, hell, has Charlie ever experienced any of America at all? I probably experienced more. This lake vehemently stands with women having the right to choose. I, I, that's a word I don't read out loud very often. I just don't know how it's said. Water is wet and abortion kills a human being. Thomas, not even your first talking point is correct. Water is not wet. What water touches is wet. I'm confident I have a lot more experience in making things wet than you do. Lol, dude. I am a legitimate... I am legitimately a doctor. Wow. And would like to recommend a therapist and maybe some anger management programs. Help us out there. I'll be praying for you. Take care and God bless. Hmm. Okay. You're posting pictures of yourself to free compliments and asking about a nose job to strangers. I'm not taking advice from someone who is so desperate that they turn to the dumbest website on earth for validation and then telling people to go through therapy. Figure yourself out. Why are you needing validation from random people online? Go preach elsewhere. Your bio, nurturer with a hint of thug. Sure, continue with your wisdom, doctor. This thing about how much men think about the Roman Empire shows how little women know about most men. Men look at history. To learn from past mistakes, that is not why they look at history. This shouldn't surprise anyone. The thing that surprises men who learn from history is, not everyone else does, and cause the same problems that brought down entire civilizations in the past. Quit listening to Andrew Tate. Oh, wow. Wow. Happy Ramadan. Notice you insult our holiday and we're unbothered, but if a cup says happy holidays in December, your wide ass gets as heated as this bacon. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Oh, I, it's just so tiresome. Now, very, very hardcore Christmas celebrating individuals will lose their f minds about people saying happy holidays because I don't know what you celebrate. Hell, you could have an ugly ass Christmas sweater that says Merry Christmas, and I'm not gonna make any assumption at you. Why? Because I don't know you! Stop it! If I say happy holidays and you get offended, grow the f up. Does your doors don't have locks? Does your English haveth good? You speak English because it's the only language you know. I speak English because it's the only language you know. We're not the same. That is probably one of the greatest beatdowns in internet history. And I'm so glad we all get to see it. Normies trying to avoid the mountain of proof that the conspiracy theorists were right about everything. Okay, this is a meme. Where is the mountain of proof? 
Where is the... See, this is what we were talking about at the beginning of this video. Where is the mountain of proof? This is a photograph with some text. Give me all of your proof. Anyway, what does this lovely comment here have to say? Biden, still president. Clinton, still not in jail. Trump, still not in the White House. FEMA alert, killing everyone through their phones on October 4th. Nope. The storm, still never came. The Great Awakening, still napping. JFK, still dead. JFK Jr., still dead too. Pizzagate, still fake. The Holocaust, still real. Moon landings, still happen. Six times. Hunter's laptop, still just pics. Twitter files, still nothing. Obama, still Christian. Oh, and American. Area 51, still just an aircraft testing site. FEMA camps, still don't exist. Operation Jade Helm, Texas is still there. Still real. The vaccinated, still alive. The Great Reset, didn't happen. Not happen. Still no proof it was an inside job. Earth, still round. Chemtrails, still just ice clouds caused by a rapid change in air pressure at high altitude. Climate change, still real and getting worse. The pyramids, just tombs built by humans. Stonehenge, just a temple built by humans. Adrenochrome, just a waste product of adrenaline that was incorrectly hypothesized to be the cause of schizophrenia in the 60s. Princess Diana, still dead by an accident. Gas stoves, still there. Fox News, just made up lies and admitted to it in court. Q, still just a 4chan troll. <laughs> uh, 4chan troll that people have dedicated their entire brains to. Why? Why JPN? Why must you make these 13 particular days different than the rest? Why not just make it a... What? First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, and the teens. Why English you do this to us? What? Oh, no, I'm st I don't get it. Murdered by words in murdered by word. We do like ourselves a little bit of murderception. The better question is why did you post this up? I see no murder or anything close to it. Maybe they meant to post in one of the boring dystopian subreddits? Five million karma. Nope, they know what they're doing. OP's the type of poster that if you block, your Reddit experience just improves by a tiny bit. That's not murder, but a scratch. Finally! Available everywhere. Who is Lara Trump? I played this for my dogs, and after they ran to the garage and grabbed some fireworks, they told me next time to shoot those off instead of playing your song. I'm sorry, except I'm not. Anthony Bourdain had this right. Once you've been to Cambodia, you'll never stop wanting to beat Henry Kissinger to death with your bare hands. <laughs> Ooh. You'll never again be able to open a newspaper and read about that treacherous... Pre what is that word? Pre prevaricating murderous scumbag sitting down for a nice chat with Charlie Rose or attending some black tie affair for a new glossy magazine without choking. Witness what Henry did in Cambodia, the fruits of his genius for statesmanship, and you'll never understand why he's not sitting in the dock at The Hague next to... to, to uh, I don't understand those, but I know what you're saying. While Henry continues to nibble nori rolls and ramaki at A-list parties, Cambodia, the neutral nation he secretly and illegally bombed, invaded, undermined, and then threw to the dogs, is still trying to raise itself up on its one remaining leg. Almost half of Gen Z are germaphobes and hand wash 10 times or more daily. Wow, that's wild. I wonder if there was any kind of collective life-changing traumatic event that happened that made them this way. You know, I personally have been thinking the exact same thing. What out there could have happened that would make, well, that many of a certain generation kind of freaked out about getting sick? Uh, no, it wouldn't have been just catching a cold or the flu or something as a child, no. You know, my sarcastic ass just can't seem to come to grips with anything. Can't think of anything, unfortunately. You know what I can think of, though? All that merch sitting over at mkshop.com that you can get free shipping on with code BOOBIN at checkout. <laughs> That's right, it's still the same code, it's still the same benefit. You already know. Now, if you haven't, you gotta. You know what I mean, you know what I'm talking about. 